What's up guys, what's up? Welcome to the live real quick. I wanted to show you guys first and foremost because I respect all of you and appreciate all of you. So I want you guys to see it first. What's up, what's up? I see your comments coming through. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, thank you. Let's go over here and check some new stuff out real quick. I might get in trouble for showing you guys this. I don't know. But I want you guys to be the first ones to see it. And if we get in trouble, we get in trouble, right? Let's go in here and check it out. Let's go. Ooh. Need some chainsaws? Yeah, boy. So real quick, what's up guys? I see all your comments, thank you. I'm not gonna be able to stay on here real long, but I wanna show you guys some real quick, brand new products coming out from Echo. They are releasing 20, 20 guys, brand new products for 2020. Five head trimmers, a new hand trimmer, uh, chainsaws, generators. Uh, let me think what else we have out here. Let's see, uh, pressure washers. We got brand new Danny Lanier. I'm watching Spencer. Real, real live. original. Real original, Spencer's Danny. Live. I'm watching <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's hop over here. I appreciate you watching, Danny. I love you. Anyways, guys, we got chainsaw action going on back here. Let's go check out these head trimmers real quick. I will have one of these head trimmers. I'm just letting you know. Also has an Angus gear case for the uh, this one has the feet on it, so you can your gear case away from the ground. That's fair. Yeah, the little legs here. You mentioned the weight, it's a lot lighter than yeah. the competition. Yeah, so these are going to be on. How freaking cool is that, guys? I mean, how cool is that? Five brand new head trimmers. Five. Not one, not two, but five. We're out here right now. We're in Lake Zurich, Chicago. We uh, we got in last night, uh, did the House of Blues, and right now we're kind of at just their launch party for this 20 brand new products for 2020. We got invited out. Super awesome of Echo. Thank you, Echo, for sending us out here and uh, putting on a heck of a party. Got the food and some other events going on that are gonna be freaking awesome. I wanna show you guys this brand new trimmer though. There's Anna. Hi, we're eating lunch soon by the way. Okay, awesome. Oh, I gotta run you guys over. Dude, they have a robotic mower. This one you're gonna wanna stick around for just a second. SRM 225. Well, that was 30 20. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool though. Stick around for like two seconds. Let me walk over here. It's actually going to be more than two seconds. Here, I'll run. I'll hustle for you guys. I'll hustle. We don't know this guy. Don't, don't look at Linear. Anyways, hey, there's pressure washer, guys. Let me show you this real quick. Hold up. Hold up. Pressure washers. All right, all right, stick with me here, stick with me. I wanna get you guys over here. This is gonna blow your guys' mind, blew my mind. Okay, so everybody knows robotic mowers came out years ago, they're super huge in Europe, okay? Blowing the European market up. I know, robotics, you know? I don't buy them too, buy into it originally either. But this thing, this thing that Echo has, this could do some serious damage, guys. And I only say that because, you know, the smaller ones only cut like 15 inches, 20 inches, something like that. Well, this bad boy, wait till I show you this. Hold up. Look at this. Do you guys see the size of that freaking thing? I believe it was 42 inch cut on this model. Uh, they also have another one up here. This one's actually made for a golf course. It picks up golf balls. So how cool is that? And I'll tell you what, guys. People don't think robotics are coming. In the years, whenever it fully catches up to us, they're going to do some freaking damage. But check this out. 
This one actually just drives around and picks up golf balls. And it'll take them back to the station. It'll actually take them back to the station and then drop them into a hub, go through the washing process, and then drop them back into a bucket. And then people can pick up another, run another bucket of balls, hit them in, and the robots go out and do all the work. What's up, guys? Thank you all for stopping by. I appreciate all of you. I wanted to be the first one to show you guys this live. You know, these robots are freaking nuts, guys. 42-inch cut. They say this thing can cut seven. Hold on. Let me repeat it. This thing can cut six acres, six acres, guys, in one day. Now, that's nuts. That's crazy. Look at this thing go. Let's get you closer. Look at this thing, guys. What the junk? 42-inch cut, six acres. Wow. Wow. So you might ask, where is that thing being like super popular at? From what I'm understanding right now, college campus, football fields, soccer fields. I gotta get ready to go though, guy. You can hear the whistle. That's like, hey, we can move on. But freaking six acres a day, guys, and it'll dock itself. It's gonna require some routine maintenance, obviously. And it's like 15 grand. So I mean, it's about as much as a, a good size zero turn, 42 inch cut, and you just put it out there and let it do its thing. Craziness, guys. But hey, I'm not gonna have a video out later tonight. I will have a video out tomorrow, simply because I'm in Chicago. But I wanna come out here and spend a few minutes with you guys. As always, I appreciate all of you watching. TQ's back home with the kiddos. She says hi to everybody. We absolutely love you all, and thank you all, and appreciate you all for sticking around and uh, supporting the channel. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. I'll talk to you later. Peace.